Hi, I am Jan Marie Blanco, and I am a Globalian. I recommend GIC because here, the students are given enough courage to show what they can do. There is no limit in learning and showcasing talents and creativity. In GIC, there is family. Students will hold each other and stay beside each other till they reach the top. Hi, my name is Elsina Dastala and I'm a Globalian. In GIC, they gave me the most memorable teachers that I also consider as my treasure. They are always there to support us whenever we want or need something. And also, they guided us along the journey of being a senior high school student. The way they treated us here in GIC made us feel like we have a brother, sister, or the coolest teacher here in GCIC. Hi, my name is Maria Pauline Panto and I'm proud that I am a Globalia. Global Innovative College has imparted me many things and it brings out the best and worst in me. It also helped me enhance my skills and one of the best skills that GIC have imparted me is being a globally competitive student. And by that, I can truly say that I am hashtag Iba Classic. Vince Cruz and I am a Globalia. My passion runs for music and I would like to share it to everybody. As a Globalian myself, the teachers and the students did boost my confidence and improve my potential. And I really guarantee no lies, no jokes. It is one of the best experiences I've had in this school. And it is truly unforgettable and I might say it is a certified hashtag in Banklasia experience. Hi, I'm Catherine K.A. Perez and I'm a global. I chose academic track, specifically STEM strand, because I already have a diminutive background about it. And also, the college course that I will be taking is under this strand. Here in GIC, the STEM students are engaged in well-designed laboratory experiences that develops our problem-solving and critical thinking skills. Hi, I'm Ashley Bretagna and I'm a global. My greatest achievement so far here in JC was when I became a short film director. I didn't expect that I'll do good or even do something that can make it a beautiful film since I have no experience at all in directing. I'm truly thankful to be part of that activity in JC because it didn't just mold my skills but I also discovered new things to try and what more can I do after I step out from my comfort zone. I really learned that lot from that. Hi, I'm Samantha Alivio and I'm a Globalian. I would recommend GIC for it is not a simple and common school. GIC is hashtag ibang klase indeed. The 3D educational system really helped me as a student and as an individual. Discover, develop, and direct. GIC helped me to discover my abilities and capabilities as a student and most especially as a leader. GIC worked with me hand in hand to develop my skills. And today, I am in the process of directing for I want as a GIC Global Supreme Student Association President. Magandang buhay netizens! We are back again in a new series of the J Talks. I am Miss Pat, the SODC Officer of GIC. Hello netizen! Hi Miss Pat! I am Neil Artacho and one of the students of GIC taking business management major in human resources. Also one of the GSSA officers. Hi Neil! Thank you for joining me in doing this new series. Ano? of our The Detox. So, ano nga ba at tungkol saan ang ating bagong series ngayon, Neil? For this series, we will talk about the life series. At para sa episode na ito, we will be talking more on discovering leader within. Balita ko, miss, pag-uusapan din natin ng iba't ibang core values ni GIC at kung paano nga ba ito nakakatulong sa mga kagaya kong estudyante. Tama ka, Daniel. At nag-invite tayo ng mga alumni na magpapatotoo na talagang nakatulong, uh, nakatulong sa kanila ang core values natin dito sa GIC. 
medyo kakamustahin lang natin sila. So, throwback tayo ng kaunti. Ano? Medyo kakamustahin lang natin sila noon at ngayon na nasa iba't ibang field na sila. So, miss, wag din natin patagalin pa. Pakilala na natin ang unang guest for the episode, Discovering the Leader Within. Yes, for for our guest today, she is one of our active leaders during her stay in the AC, okay? So, actually, um, balita ko nga, ang batch nila ang unang batch na nakabuo ng COMSEL, yung tinatawag natin Commission on Student Election. Mm. She's from the batch 2008 and finished her mm-hmm. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. And now, she's a registered nurse, a general manager in inter, inter Industrial Physician Medical Services Incorporated in Paranaque. So, let us welcome Miss Maria Linita Rodriguez Bernabe or Miss Yang Bernabe. Hi, good afternoon, Pat. And Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, thank you for inviting me. Um, sana I can help with your, ano, with your episode today. <laughs> Sure na sure yes, kami yes, dyan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ano, sobrang highly recommended si Miss Yeng to do this leadership ko. Yes. From, ano, from Mami Malin siya kay Sir Jess ba? Yes mm-hmm. po. Sobrang Parang na-pressure ako. <laughs> well, so, sabi nga po, medyo light naman po itong magiging yeah. for today. So, yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. So, yes. um, Hello, Ms. Yang. Uh, our, my first question is, uh, when did you start your leadership, leadership role? Well, for me, ha, kasi siguro it was just gradual. Um, I kasi consider myself as a late bloomer talaga. Just because I think, kasi I was the youngest sa family. So, di ba, normally, if you're the youngest. So, I have four other older siblings kasi, and syempre, my parents. So, growing up, parang I didn't feel any pressure talaga to step up. Kasi parang everything was given to me. Every, parang all of them, sila yun tumutulong sa akin. So, um, I just felt na parang I don't need to really um, get the role or to be a leader nung bata ko. But siguro at the back of my mind then, um, alam ko when I get older, I'll be in a position that I have to manage people because of our family business. At the same time, yun nga growing up kasi my family's ano, um, into public, kasi madami sa amin public servants eh. So, mm-hmm. alam ko din, nung bata pa lang ako, na paglaki ko, um, baka I'll be given a chance to lead talaga and to serve. So, pero talaga the turning point, I think, when I graduated from, I was 22 years old, when my parents kasi asked me to handle one of our family businesses. So, during that time, I was young, pero I was handling people older than me. So, nung time na yon, I just feel that, siguro it was also yung values na lang of the family that helped me na to, siguro hindi naman to be successful in that, ano, in that company, but to at least um, contribute to whatever success yung company, na, yung dun sa company na yon, ngayon. So, yun. <laughs> That's really nice, ano po. Um, knowing na, sabi nyo nga po, no, you're a late bloomer, pero laging ganun, at the back of our mind, we always say na we we can put an impact to people. Kasi, sab, yeah. sa base po dun sa kinikwento ninyo, it's in your blood na po, no, na serving people is part of your family culture. And that's really nice po, no. So, now ma'am. Um, can you tell us naman um, what was the GAC's contribution sa inyo po for your leadership skills? Ako, madami. Kasi I remember talaga. Kasi nga this, when I entered kasi global GIC, I was, ano, that was my, ano na, nursing kasi was my second course. So parang I have this mindset talaga when I entered um, global that siguro I'll be much older than everyone. <laughs> Kasi yun nga, second person na kami. And then, yung role ko na siguro, I'll be an ate to the other, to my batchmates and to other students. So, parang alam ko lang na um, I'll be more on the side na ako na yung tutulong sa kanila. So, at the same time, siguro third year ako nito, yun nga, when, di ba, you, you, you said earlier that um, that was during our batch na nagkaroon ng COMSEL. 
So it was Mommy Malen talaga who gave us the opportunity talaga to handle or to manage um, different events. And then, ano, it was also Sir Jas talaga who siguro helped us realize yung mga skills namin. Kasi diba, usually if you're not naman placed in a position talaga, hindi mo ma-realize what you have, what you can offer it. So, nung nasa global ako, siguro at, at the same time, it was um, the level of maturity na yan during that time. Siyempre, different na when I was in college or high school. Kaya, um, the goal talaga always is to help out. And then, at the same time, siguro, make everything easier for all the officers, for all the teachers when I was a student nung nasa global ako. So, malaki impact sa akin nung ng global kasi yun nga, I just felt na sila yung nagbigay sa akin ng chance to develop my skills. Yes, balita ko nga rin ma'am, uh, isa rin po kayo sa mga leader ng, uh, um, ano nga yung dating name ng Ayer? Ayolus? Uh, Ayolus. Ayolus, yes yeah. ma'am. Mm-hmm. Ayolus kasi is the house na lahat kami, second courser o kaya mga irregular So, yeah, yun nga, masaya nga siya. Yung memories ko talaga of Global talaga. Sabi ko nga, kaya when we graduated, even na matagal na ha, that was 2008, yung ano namin, communication ko with Miss, ano, Miss Malin and Mommy Malin and Sir Jess, nandun pa rin talaga. And um, I don't know if si Doc Kim ba naabutan niyo din, but talaga fond memories, with, fond memories talaga. Uh, hindi ko talaga siya, parang, yung it, it's it's an uh, experience na talagang nabuo yung character ko. Yes, kasi isa rin po yun sa mga goal ni GAC, no? yung character building. Yes. And give our student i hashtag ibang class experience. Yeah. And kagaya po noon, 'di ba? Nahayaan nila kayong um to build something for um for the community, hindi lang para sa inyo. So sometimes uh-huh. we think um ex ano lang siya, yung extracurricular, extra work lang siya. But without us knowing, it actually really helps us. Or it really actually helps the students develop their skills and know their skills. And gusto ko po yung nasabi ninyo po, no? Um, Doc Jazz and Ma Malen, Doc Malen really helps you po in knowing your skills. So, yeah, talaga. Yeah. So, I think it's the, it's the ano, culture talaga yun yun din kasi yes. siguro even if um we came from different kasi yun nga we came from different schools we graduated from different schools but nung college parang we have this common talaga goal nung uh, we were mm-hmm. studying talaga syempre to graduate ng nursing at the same time yun nga to give whatever we can ano um offer and then at least to make a difference sa school kasi nga it was barely new eh during that time So, di ba, kaka-start lang talaga ng school nung 2000, nung when we were, when we were there. So, yun, kaya sabi ko nga, um, kung what I am now, ngayon, malaking, ano doon, malaking contribution doon, yung global. Yes, that's nice uh, to hear the, po, no? that's really great. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, actually, um, Miss Yang, I'm curious lang po sa mga kagaya kong nagsisimula pa lang din in developing my leadership skills. Um, is there any leadership mistakes that you wish you can remake nung time na nag-aaral ko pa sa GIC? I think right. magami. <laughs> kasi, mm-hmm. yeah, kasi <laughs> lang, it's just part of the ano talaga of your journey. Um, mm-hmm. Hindi kasi you cannot really get yung everything ng kaagad. So, siguro nung I was studying, um, if only siguro feeling ko, um, kasi may time na when I was in fourth year na, nag-decide kami to mag- mag-lilo. Mm-hmm. Tapos parang not to muna, kasi parang to concentrate, kasi we're graduating na eh. Pero at the, sana nga eh, kung looking back, sana pala I gave, mm-hmm. I gave my all na. Kasi nga fourth year na yun. <laughs> And yes. siguro yun nga, parang few, few ano na lang yun, few, what's this, few um, subjects na lang siya talaga. Kaya siguro if, if I'll be given a chance ulit, siguro I'll be more active nung last year ko. But pero to answer also to your question na kung meron din akong nagawang mistakes, not only in school, but also here after graduating, yes. mahami din talaga. Um, mm-hmm. si, pero itong mga, yung mga mistakes na nagawa ko, um, si it's just feeling ko, I accept it talaga wholly. And then, um, I try to be more responsible after that mistake. Kasi, 
Siyempre, di ba, ganun naman eh. Ganun naman, di ba, yung life. Yes. Kaya you, ano to, um, you fall. Pero always what's important is that talaga you decide to stand up and continue to move forward. So, yun lang naman yung, if you commit mistakes, that's okay. Okay lang yun. But yes. what's nice is that after that, you learn from it. Don't do it again. <laughs> Don't try not to do it again. Yes. And then yun nga, move forward. And then yun, just remember that it, it's another, ano yun, another deposit in your ano, bank experience sa, ng, ano, sa life mo. Yes. Okay, tama. And I like po yung sinabi niyo, missing, no? Whenever we fall, whenever we make mistakes at hindi natin nang maiiwasan, be responsible in taking that mistake. Yes. And okay. yeah, huwag na natin uulitin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, it's at the point. Sige ma'am, go ahead po. No, no, it's okay. Sabi ko nga kasi just like a leader kasi, di ba, hindi mo naman din alam lahat eh. And then mm-hmm. you yes, learn from the people that you manage. You learn yes. from the people that you you meet along the way. So yun yung mga magandang mm-hmm. ano. Yun yung mga na cherish mo talaga. Na yeah, may mistakes. Pero kasi ano lang siya. You parang itong mga mistakes na to, They help you grow. Eh. So yun na lang yes. yung you look forward to what's next after this. What's next? Parang ganon yes. na. Tama po. And tama, mag-move on po kapag nagkakamali. <laughs> move, on. Resp- Opo, move on, take responsibility of everything. And that's number one manifestation of being a good leader. Yung pag-take mm. ng responsibility kapag nagkakamali. Po. And ang, nakaka- ang masaya lang po sa ZIC, no? it, it allows us always na um, yung mag- sige, um, parang do this kapag nagkamali kayo. Okay, mag-alala, may support pa rin na ibigay sa inyo. And yung tiwala pa rin po. Buo pa rin siya kasi they know na we're still we are still in a in a in in a developing side of our skills. So, hindi nawawala yung mga mentors, is in sa mga magagandang. Oh, yun yun. Yes. I think that's important. At saka we're always ano, a work in progress all the time. Yes. All through, I think you all throughout our life, always yun, work in progress talaga tayo. Yes, tama po. And mm-hmm. ang bilis lang din ng oras po missing ano because yeah. um, we are, we are about to end our um our conversation with you but we know po um soon we'll get in touch again with you to share more of your experiences guys and also in your life now kasi you heard na um you're doing great great things po outside GAC. But before we end po no Um, can you give one liner message to all our viewers, po? especially our GIC students, GIC students for this time? Siguro, I just wish lang sana yung takeaway from this interview. Siguro, hindi na lang one liner. Siguro yung mga ano lang. Um, what I cherish most talaga. Um, first is um, to lead us to serve. It's always the goal. Yung goal talaga, if you're a leader, is to help out. Um, mm-hmm. kasi yung the position is just a title but what's important yes. is that you um, change lives talaga and then um, what's important is the relationship that you build second is that um, to lead is to lead is to inspire also um, yun ka na sinabi ko kanina diba? as a leader you don't naman talaga know everything but I think yung mga mistakes if, if your people will see that Um, they they will think that you're more relatable and reachable, and then when they see that you you not you rise above it, sila then will be motivated and be inspired to do that. So parang ano talaga siya, um, yung you lead by example, yon. So and then third is that ano talaga um as a leader you have to be humble all the time. Um, we are placed by God in this position because we the parang yung plan niya is for us talaga to grow at the same time to um parang inspire and then help other people um when you kasi when you think of this if you if you, if you think kasi of yung pagiging leader na um you don't have to be the loudest person in the room you don't have to be the toughest person in the room but i think dapat lang nakikita nila is that um hindi hindi ka nababother or hindi napupunta sa ulo mo 
yung position that you have. Yun na. So, I think that's the takeaway from this interview. I hope. <laughs> Ang dami pong mapupulot na aral dun sa sinabi ni Miss Yeng sa yes. <laughs> <laughs> advice niya, no? But it's important po, no? Many of leaders, um, they are great. They are actually doing great. But the the problem is they forget kung saan sila nanggaling. Yes. Maakit na yun sa ulo nila. So, sabi nga nila, kapag sometimes people, when when you are placed in a position, hindi talaga may iwasan na lumaki yung ulo mo eh. Pero what's good is that you always remind yourself na you're not there because um because of because of you but because you have a purpose and yung purpose niyo is to serve the people, to serve to serve mm-hmm. your um to serve to serve others. Yes. 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 Constantly you ask for God's guidance talaga. Yes. Kasi yun yung mahirap lalo na if you're Katulad, katulad ako kasi, I want sana, di ba, if, if I'll be given a chance to be a public servant also. But I know kasi the temptation around that. So para sabi ko, if God, if you'll be giving me this, ano to, this um, possession, siguro sana you guide me also. Para kung whatever I'll be doing is yung, ano yung gusto mo. So, yes. yes. Yeah, we always ask guidance to the Lord because siya rin at siya rin naman po yung magbibigay sa atin ng kung anong meron tayo. So, Neil. Yes, actually, uh, thank you so much, uh, Miss Yang, for your time. And I would like to express our gratitude that you can, uh, can we pray po to you? Okay, so, let sure. Us, oh my God, thank you. you. Uh, let it's us our way po of expressing of, our gratitude uh, sa pag-take ng, uh, for, uh, for giving us your precious time because alam po nang medyo busy po kayo. Okay lang. Thank you. Thank you. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most graciously, Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day that you given to us. Even though that we, uh, Miss Ying is very busy person, uh, I know that she allotted this time to um have here in this kind of the uh, G-Talk series. And thank you for all the knowledge na kuha namin sa kanya. And this is reserved our motivation and also our and perspective then to grow in the community and also in the whole GIC family. Lord, we guide us sa lahat ng mga gagawin namin uh, to be a good leader and to be a role model din also in our uh, batchmate and also our schoolmate. Lord, thank you for all the blessings na binigay niya sa amin and guide us our day always and bless mo po kami lahat and also in the whole community of the GIC. All of this, Lord, I will give uh, thank you to you and in Jesus' name and pray. Amen. 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 Thank you once again, Miss Yen. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Pat. Thank you, Neil. I hope to see you. Thank you, you Miss Yen. Oh, thank, thank you. But again, um, thank you again, Miss um, Miss Yen, for sharing your story. It's really inspiring. And we hope na yung mga students natin here in GIC will really um, follow your footsteps, no? And will yeah. really, um, we know, we believe you really inspired mm-hmm. more students with this um with this episode po. No? Episode, but we are not yeah. yet done yet because netizens we want to show you our PBL projects for set 2 this semester
job set to PBL team. We know that you work hard for your output this sem. Kudos, everyone. Yes. Yes, congratulations, set two. Ang bilis ng oras, ano. Pero kayo mag-alala kasi may kasunod pa itong episode. Marami pa tayong episode na, um, na ipapalabas for this series. Tama ka dyan, Miss. At gaya na lagi natin sinasabi. Kaya mga global yan. Mga so global, that yes. And that is always, always tayong maging G na G dito sa G Talks. Always tayong maging G na G dito lang sa G Talks. Bye everyone. Thank <laughs> you.